Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to divide fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here item number one, or we are given the direction rather, divide each fraction. And I, am, I have here four different examples, starting from number one up to number four. And what you will do, or what we will do here in the video, I will try to solve or divide fractions starting from number one, two, and three, and this will serve as your assignment. Now let's start with item number one. For number one, we are given one over two divided by three over four. Now, how do we divide fractions? So basic guys, na masabi ko sa inyo, before dividing or before diving into the topic of dividing fractions, you need to know how to multiply fractions. So why? Because dividing fractions will come to multiplying fractions. What do I mean by that? Kapag mag-divide ka ng fractions, mapupunta ka rin sa multiplying of fractions. Or yung process kasi, it includes multiplying fractions. Now let's start with item number 1. 1 half divided by 3 over 4. First step is to copy the first fraction. We have 1 over 2. Second step is to change this operation, division, to multiplication. Step 3, get the reciprocal of your divisor, which is 3 over 4, in which, in getting the reciprocal, all you need to do is to interchange the position of your numerator and denominator. And the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is simply 4 over 3. And right now, we have multiplying 1 half times 4 over 3. Meron tayong isang subscriber na nag-request, Sir, can you do dividing fraction with cancellation? At ginawa ko itong example na to. Now, guys, normal na ginagawa when we are dividing fraction, when we are multiplying fractions rather, is we will multiply the numerator and the numerator, tapos denominator and denominator. But, if kaya naman mag-simplify or mag-cancellation, gawin nyo para mas namiit yung inyong product. So, dito, we can... Uh, cancel out 4 and 2 in which because meron silang greatest common factor na 2 ito magiging 1 ito we have 2 2's sa isang 4 so it will become 2 and right now meron lang tayong 1 and 2 as your numerator tapos 1 and 3 as your denominator wherein we can multiply them if we multiply them 1 times 2 is 2 and then for your denominator 1 times 3, that will give you the product of 3. So this is the answer for item number 1 if we will try to divide 1 half and 3 over 4. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, same process. 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 7. Copy the first fraction. We have 3 over 4. And then change the division sign to multiplication sign. And lastly, get the reciprocal of 2 over 7 or your denominator. 2 over 7, the reciprocal is 7 over 2. And as you can see guys, wala tayong pwedeng i-cancel out. So, gagawin natin ngayon dito is to do the classical way on how to multiply in fraction. So, 3 times 7, that is 21. Okay? Over... 4 times 2, that is 8. Now, um, this one is already simplified, but your teacher is requiring you to change this one into a mixed number. Why, sir? Because this is an improper fraction. By the way, guys, when you say improper fraction, this is a fraction wherein the numerator is greater than the denominator. So our tendency is to change that into an improper fraction. So what you will do, to make it a proper fraction, step by step, is to divide 21 by 8. So what will happen is 21 divided by 8 is 2. 
because we have 2 8s and 21. And then multiply 2 times 8, this will give you 16. And then uh, subtracting this, this will give you 5. Ito ngayon, yung quotient mo, this will become your whole number. And your denominator, 8, is 8 pa rin. And then yung quotient or yung um, remainder na 5, this will be your new numerator. At ito na yung mismong sagot natin. 2 and 5 over 8. Okay? So, ganun lang guys. Um, copy, change the operation to multiplication, get the reciprocal, and do the multiplication. Let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we're given the whole number divided by a fraction. So, guys, uh, don't be confused, sir. 5 is not a whole number. We can express 5 as a fraction. So, meron siya ditong invisible 1. So, 5 over 1 siya. So, we will copy 5 over 1. And then, change the operation to multiplication. And then, for 2 over 3, guys, get the reciprocal. And that is 3 over 2. And using the classical method on how to multiply fraction, we will multiply the numerator to numerator, which is 15 over 1 times 2, which is 2. As you can see, this one is also an improper fraction. So what we will do is we will do this method. We will divide 15 by 2. So I will use this space. This is 15 divided by 2. Where 15 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Subtract then, this will give you 1. This quotient is your whole number. So we have 15 over 2 is equal to 7. And then your denominator is the same, which is 2. And as for your numerator, this is your remainder, which is 1. So the answer, when you are dividing 5 by 2 thirds, is 15 over 2 or 7 and 1 half in mixed number. Now guys, um, I want you to answer number 4 as your activity guys. For me to know if you're learning from my video like this. Ganyan ginagawa ko, lalo na sa akin video para magkaroon tayo ng interaction and I can check if you're learning from this tutorial. Now guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, to like and subscribe but hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!